Hey guys, so today we have a girl's box. It is huge. And like usual, it has a note, a handwritten note on him that says, You are doing awesome, Marina. So, thank you, Grove, for telling me that I'm doing awesome. I needed that. Let's see. First thing we got is paper. We always had a large amount of wrapping paper. Um. We have a toothbrush. It's a pretty blue color. Ooh, this is something I really just, I ordered this, or I think this is, I just really wanted this one. It is, um, it's a, produce brush. Dang, my hair is super frizzy right now. Um, next we have some cotton rounds. I have four packages of these. Um, I do use them for like my beauty care, health care product, and um, like crafts and stuff. We have some multi-surface cleaner. I love this stuff. Ooh, I think it's a little frozen. A little slushy. Put that over here because I need it to clean up after lace. I guess she makes a mess. Uh, 100% soy tea light. This might have been my like free item. I'm not sure. Let's see what they look like. Maybe I can get it open. Looks like it's just like a regular tea light. Regular tea light. A little dirty on the outside of the metal. There's like some wax on them, but that's okay. Then we have a few boxes of these. Um, it's an eight pack of tissues like little packets of tissues I go through these oh, go through these pretty quickly like, some of them like four tissues in one of these things when you buy them I'm like that's not gonna last me very long so I go through these pretty quickly I put them in my bag I have them I have allergies so they don't last long I got three boxes of those and then I have Two boxes of the regular tree free um, or no these ones are tree free these ones are recycled uh, post consumer and pre consumer recycled paper and I think there's only one thing left let me double check that's just paper down there last thing we got it's paper towels. That is a whole box of girl products. That is worth a lot of money. I think I paid like almost 60 bucks for all of this. Um, but it's like tree free items, which is great. Especially with me having an allergy to trees. Um, I'm like, I have a really hard time finding these in stores lately. Um, even before, like, COVID break and stuff. Like, I, they, I couldn't find them in my, in my local stores. And I prefer them over cotton balls. Like, I hate using cotton balls as so much. The, with those, the cotton is like tight and it doesn't like flake out and stuff. And it's less likely to get like caught under my nails and stuff when I'm using it. And I'm so happy about this because now I can clean my potatoes. I want one of these really bad. Uh, they have like two different options. And I don't know why I liked the ring better. 
The other one I think had two different like sets of bristles or something. But this one just looked better. It also says it's a veggie brush. But I didn't really care. The other one says something else. Like a produce brush or something. I don't know. I just wanted something to clean my potatoes and carrots with that I get. One thing I have a problem with is all this paper, man. What am I supposed to do with all this paper? I'm gonna cut it back in the box with everything. And then hopefully it makes it to my recycling bin. I don't know. Grove Collaborative. Yeah, it's Grove Collaborative. This is not sponsored. I don't know if I have to say that. I hear people say it all the time. This is not sponsored. I buy this stuff myself. Um, it's something that I got. I just saw it on Facebook. I saw it on Facebook like all the time. And I saw that they had some products that I really liked. The Mrs. Meyers cleaning products. Um, I grew up around those um, because I have um, adverse reactions to um, some cleaning products that it looks like I'm having an allergy attack and uh, it's really painful but it's not considered an allergy attack. I just have to suffer through it. So we tried to not have them in my house. So we had like Mrs. Meyers and Maluka products. Um, which is weird because I'm allergic to trees, but tea tree products are usually safe for me to use. Um, but yeah, so I started getting stuff with Grove Collaborative because of yeah, the Mrs. Meyers stuff. And then I saw the tree free stuff and so I just get, get some items that I'm interested in every now and again. I got, I think the last one in that box of this I got, I didn't, I'm really impatient about recording the video. <laughs> it was like waiting to record a video to open the box. So my last box that I got, I got a like little dish tray, straws, and a scent thing. And then before that, I got some cleaning products and scent things. I have the two scent things here. I have a lemon and an orange, I believe. And both of these came through Grove. Um, I do, I use them often. I mean, you can't really tell because it looks like they're still full, but you don't have to use a lot. You just need a little dot. My nose. I hate winter. I hate being cold. Um, my body's like, you're cold, so you're gonna suffer. Stupid. But I love the smell of these. I was upset. This one came broken. The seal was busted. The white piece was like shoved up on here and so it wasn't sealed properly so all of my stuff smelled like this that I got and like it was like soaking through the box and I was like super upset because I felt like it was wasted. Like I didn't get to use it. Um, but other than that like that's the only problem I've had with Grove, is this came with the seal messed up, which isn't necessarily their fault. That would have been in the factory. The person who packaged it didn't catch it, but the people who made it also didn't catch it. And I'm pretty sure they're supposed to watch for that kind of stuff before it gets sent off to be packaged. Anyways, Grove, you guys. Grove. What do you love about it? What don't you love about it? Let me know in the comments. 
and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.